The Italska Whiskey Atlantic Challenge 2015 is about to get started. This is it. Relieved we're here, ready to go at last. Crew's good, a little bit emotional. Oh, Liam, go give your mum a hug. Planning this for two and a half, three years. I'm just ready to start. Day two. No one's had a poo. Everyone's weeing, and it's Christmas on Friday. Ocean. And guess who's been? Guess who's been? Look. I'm severely dehydrated because I've been crying so much. We had a lovely Christmas. Um, I'm just airing out my bum as well. Oh! <laughs> Day 15 has been and gone. Uh, now on to day 16. And uh, yeah. I mean, it's just been much the same, really. <laughs> See how it goes, eh? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, alright? How's it been then, alright? Oh, how are you, alright? Hello, darling, alright? We've done the drifters today, haven't we? Come on. Alright. We managed to work out what happened with the roll the other night, didn't we? The gunnel has dug in, just flipped the boat over. Ryan said he was uh, got wiped off the deck and was holding on to the, uh, the jacks there, wasn't it, you said? Yeah. And yeah. straight back on the oars, 100% ocean row, I think. A bit of a shit night's sleep, but yeah, all in all, not too bad. panic stations here we're having a bit of a major flop here there's a massive boat that won't answer their VHF this is a quick storm update it's and they're getting pretty bad um, I'm sweating my face off in the cabin I've been in here now for 24 hours plus extreme though I managed to just eat a whole um, chicken and vegetable thick soup uh, without getting any in my beard sorry if you can see my tits still Shane's got particularly bad chafing on his on his armpits. He doesn't stop whinging about it. And now he's gonna clean it with surgical spirit. It's produced by the devil himself. And it is not pleasant on open wounds or chafing. I'm looking forward to this, to be honest. Oh, oh my God, I hate life. <laughs> I can't think of anything worse, eh? Hey? <laughs> you gotta love life. <laughs> well, I don't suppose this is supposed to be used as a diary cam, but... Uh... 
Today's the day when the arse blew up, pus everywhere, of course for concern. Suffering from um, our backsides. There's a bit of a pounding up down on the on a wet sea. Of a sort of, like hell. So Shane's trying to manufacture it. Up hole! Towel down waste is the optimal solution for a sweaty backside. And for um, salt saw ball sack. The bum report. I've been doing a bum experiment. So on the one cheek, I'm going for the classical um, rubbing alcohol treatment, try and dry the skin out, take good care of it. And then on the other, there's a, uh, a South African medicine, you may be able to get it elsewhere, I'm not, I'm not too sure, called Mercurochrome, which I think was banned a while ago. I'm getting so much resistance. Okay, it's going to be really hot today. So. The Lord of Butts and Sunblock for sure. You pointed out now. Oh, no one needs to see that. <laughs> what a field day for the heat. A thousand people in the street singing songs and they carry inside. Mostly say hooray for our side. It's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. It's 34 degrees and it's too hot to row. So here I am in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean listening to boat salt. It's a pretty good day. The man come and take you away. We better stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Better stop now. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. It is turning out to be an exceptional day for us. One of the highlights of the trip. Challenge. Uh, you always get a few fallen comrades in the morning um, who are flying in a different place now, shall we put it? Uh, Unlike Pokemon, you can't catch them all. <laughs> that was amazing. That is mint! <laughs> Checking out the beard. It's coming on a good one. I've just discovered that this screen turns around on this camera and this is the first time I've seen myself in about 40 odd days. And I've discovered that I have an incredibly ginger tash. <laughs> that is horrendous. Jesus, it is wild, isn't it? Oh, great. today. Cinema Sonio Atlantico. Uh, it's my iPad. So we've dug out our last bar of chocolate. Happy birthday big boy. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Happy 30th birthday to you. Kids being seasick a lot. Had a rough old night last night, a lot of chundering. Here we are, the middle of the Atlantic. Nothing to be seen for miles and miles. Oh, wait a minute. There it is, the lesser spotted passes. Cleansing yourself. Happy birthday. 
how's it going with the hair, G? Badly. What is this? <laughs> Postman's been this morning. I've forgotten your name. Nikki. <laughs> oh, I'm crying too. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? What are we doing in the Atlantic? <laughs> we love doing this. Pumping. <laughs> Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Big and stronger too. Maybe, but none of them will Angus. Hello, Pumba. <laughs> two hours on, two hours off, and this is a wake up. <laughs> Gus has got a tub of that. <laughs> you are 100% certain. See you later. See you later. See you later. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. So we are coming up to, what's that bogey? Look at that. Oh, winner. And I said, I think I want chicken risotto. And I said, I think I'm gonna have chicken risotto today. Just kind of going with it. He said, all right, you want coffee? I said, yeah, I want coffee. He says, you want cream in it? I said, yeah, put the hazelnut creamer in it. Yeah, it's going very well. I'm now half a year behind the world record. Um, Probably put some music on, get a bit of motivation out of that. been talking to the sun and to the moon. Kick this dude out. Winter having a week. There's not a lot to see here. There's not a lot to see out there. 
We've seen nothing for days. Very slight mare. Called a silly cow a lot. It's Helen's talking, which is a really good sign. Because we've had no talking at all for, well, three days. In fact, I'll give you an impression of Helen. <laughs> Every day just seems to drag and drag and drag, but uh, we're almost there. I can't believe this. Thank you for visiting. Never knew quite what I had. Little darling, if you hear me now, never needed you so bad. Spinning round inside my head. Have everyone out here and give you a cheer is, yeah, it's like... <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Hardest thing I'll ever do. Unbelievable. Great adventure. Absolutely incredible. The reception has been absolutely outstanding. Just completely humbled by the whole thing. Wow, <laughs> that is just amazing. Just words can't describe this feeling. It's better than anything you could ever imagine. Times it by ten. It's welcome. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> the reception was overwhelming. We knew we were going to get a great reception, but I don't think we could have imagined this. It's fantastic. Uh, for me, it's always been a dream. I did it. This is a great surprise. Can't believe this. Absolutely magnificent. I, I really didn't think I was going to get here. <laughs> oh, it feels fantastic to be in Antigua. Uh, just wonderful to see the family. 
It was great. Doesn't feel like we crossed an ocean, but I know it did. Yeah. <laughs> A whale jumped, like came out of the water and did like a backflop back into the water and that was hands down the coolest thing I've ever seen. It feels absolutely awesome that I'm here in Antigua now. <laughs> Words can't describe it. It's just, uh, it's an unbelievable experience and you've got to row across the ocean to find out for yourself what it's like. To get here is, for me, it's a, it's a lifetime dream. Very challenging, especially at the beginning. It's a fantastic feeling. It's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's unreal. That's just so it's difficult. <laughs> Amazing, it's amazing. like a dream. We've been dreaming about it since day one. Well done, Annie Warner. We appear to have just crossed the Atlantic Ocean. And I'm quite happy about that. How's it feel to arrive in Antigua, right? Eh? Mm. Amazing. Emotional. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. A long journey and just fantastic to be here. About 1,500 miles out, a butterfly landed on the, uh, on the boat before fluttering off. And I thought, there's odd. It's a hell of a relief to finally get here. It's also very hot. I don't really know what to make of it properly yet. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty overwhelming. Absolutely fantastic. The first 30 odd days, I found it very, 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 very tough. I think my wife may have something to say about me doing it again. Incredible. I didn't expect anything like that. It's the most amazing feeling in the world. We can't imagine what you go through. So this isn't the world's toughest rowing race. It's the world's toughest race, bar none. Thank <laughs> you.